Hi boys and girls, today we are going to work on even and odd number patterns. We're going to really focus on pairs. So my first question for you is, how many shoes are in a pair? Well, when I put my shoes on, I know I have to have two because there's two feet that I have to put my shoes on. So pairs are anything that come in two. What are some other things that come in pairs? Shoes are one of them, and you have to have socks, earrings, gloves, mittens, anything that comes in twos. You could even say twins. Twins come in twos. So when we're thinking of even and odd numbers, an even number is when everyone has a partner. No matter what, if you look around and you tell your whole group, everyone, partner up. And if there's no one left out, it's an even number. But on the other side, if you tell everyone to partner up and there's one person left out by themselves, that means it's an odd number. It can't be split into equal groups. Now, when we have to look at numbers, we always look in the ones place to decide if it's even or odd. So let's go through some numbers right now and decide if they're even or odd. So to begin with, we have the number one. Can the number one have a partner? No, it's by itself. So it's an odd number. Number two. Let's see here. The number two. I'm going to get my pencil so I can start circling our pairs. We're going to go through and circle all of the pairs as we are going through. So there's two of them. Is there anyone left out? No, there's no one left out. So that means it's an even number. Let's continue. The number three. All right, I'm going to circle a pair. So that means two. Is there anyone left out? There is, so that means it's an odd number. We're gonna keep going with this pattern. I'm gonna circle how many at a time? Two, because two is in a pair. So there's two. Here's another two. Are there any left out? There aren't, so that means it's an even number because we're evenly spread out. All right, we're gonna circle our pairs. Here's two. Here's two. Uh-oh, there's an odd one out. So that makes it odd. He's the odd man out. Let's keep going for the number six. Oh, I can just go up and down. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go over this way. And one more. Are there any left out? Nope, so that means it's an even number. Now, have you noticed there's a pattern going with our numbers? Odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. I wonder what our next one will be. Let's circle the pairs. I'm going around. Now we have one left out, so that means that number is going to be odd. What do you notice? It goes every other one. So I can guess that the number eight is going to have enough pairs. Let's see. I think it's going to be even based on the pattern. Wonderful, it is. So instead of me circling these pairs, can you tell me, is nine going to be odd or even? It's going to be odd. Two, 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 one by itself. It's odd. What about the number 10? Is it going to be odd or even? Two, 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 two. There's no one left out, so it's going to be even. Now, when we go through and we look at all of our numbers, we have this fun cheer to remember. It goes zero, two, four, six, eight. Even numbers are really great. One, three, five, seven, nine. Odd numbers are super fine. Now, boys and girls, any number that ends in the ones place with a zero, two, four, six, or eight is an even number. And any number that ends in the ones place with a one, three, five, seven, or nine is an odd number. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice that right now. Let me get my marker. Here we go. Now, this is the number 24. We only carry about the ones place. It's a four. Hmm. Well, I know. 
that four, one, two, three, four, comes in two pairs and no one's left out. So that means that this number is even. Let's look at our next one. 89, we only carry about the ones place. Let's draw a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm gonna circle them in purple. Here's a pair, here's a pair. One more, still going. Oh, there's one left out. So that means my number must be odd. Here we go, number 36. Hmm, the number 36. We only carry about the six because it's in the ones place. So six, let's see if I can count by twos. Zero, two, four, six, eight. Did I say the number six? I did, so that means it's even. Now, within this number, we have number 77. We only carry about, care about the ones place. Now I'm gonna count by twos again. Let's see if I say the number seven. Zero, two, four, six, eight. I didn't. So that means it doesn't come in a pair and it's odd. Let's 